Hey y'all, hey. Okay, where is my handsy dandy notebook? What? Okay, let me go ahead and just put this up so y'all know what we're doing. So y'all not like, why the hell is she? Y'all already know what it is. Okay, what's up y'all? How y'all doing? It's Thursday. So that means it is NCLEX Jeopardy Thursdays, okay? This episode will be slightly shorter than the other ones, um, just because I have something to do at 745, 750-ish, okay? So we're gonna go through our NCLEX review, all right? We do it in a little Jeopardy style, Jeopardy inspired um, way or manner, just to make it a little bit more fun, um, incentivize it to make it less stressful, less like a walking panic attack. Okay, if this is your first time coming to NCLEX Jeopardy, please let me know below in the comments. Um, hold on. Yeah, please let me know in the comments if this is your first time. Welcome to everybody, period. Welcome back to all my vets <laughs> and my repeat offenders. Welcome back. And then welcome to everyone whose first time it is. If you have friends who are about to start nursing school, still in nursing school, thinking about going to nursing school, whatever, go ahead and tag them so they can come in and join this free and super fun NCLEX review, okay? Like I said, it is Jeopardy style. Here are our categories for today. Oh, hello, all my first timers. Carpe Diem, FP Maya, Wife Mother, Hair by Claire, Osha, Live, Laugh, Love, Dara, or Dara, I'm not sure, Yana, I am Jack, and hello, everybody. Thank you so much for spending your Thursday evenings with me, okay? Um, Tina, Miss Aries, One Fancy Gem. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. All right, so a couple of um, house rules, just um, just because it's you guys' first time. I see you, S. Love. All right, so these are our categories right here. Pharmacology, well, the categories change every week. Um, but for this week, it is pharmacology, doses, calculations, mental health, maternity, and med surge. Okay, with each of these um, columns or content topics, we're going to have five questions. They're going to range from 100 points to 500 points. So obviously, whatever one that we read, that's how much those um, that question is worth. Okay, so I'm going to choose a question. You guys are going to see the topic and um, how many points they're going to be worth. I'm going to bring it up on the screen. Um, you're going to be able to see the questions before, prior to. We were just kind of doing it just like verbally, um, me reading it off, and you guys kind of just using your comprehension skills to answer the question. But because we're all visual learners here, well, I know I am. <laughs> I want you guys to be able to see the actual question so that way we can at least make it even that much more fun. Okay, so you'll be able to see the question. I'm going to read it out loud as well. You do not have to wait for me to read the question in order for you to answer. Um, but just be because it is Jeopardy style, you have to answer as if it's Jeopardy. Okay, so if you have never seen Jeopardy, you have to answer all the questions with what is. Okay, so if the answer is um, three, like if or B, whatever, you have to say what is B or what is three. Okay, you have to say what is. Quick tip. If you just go ahead and just kind of like type out what is, copy and paste it or copy it. That way, whenever you're answering the questions, just click paste and then put your answer. It'll shave you down a couple seconds. Okay. Now, because um, I love to have fun and I love to uh, make sure that my studying is, is fun as well. I'm, I like to make sure that I'm enjoying my studying. I wanted to incentivize this and um, give prizes like we do every week. So the winner of um, tonight's NCLEX Jeopardy or the person with the most amount of points, they're going to win a free digital ultimate nursing school bundle. That's $97 regularly. Someone's going to win it free tonight. Okay. So um, after, well, when you see the question and when I read it, and you um, have, feel like you have the correct answer, remember to type in what is and then type in your answer. The first person to answer on my screen is going to be the person that gets those points. All right. So we're going to have a little scoreboard, every man for, for himself, him, well, him or herself, whatever. 
<laughs> um, and we're going to go that way. Okay, so just answer to the best of your ability. The first person, like I said, to um, answer correctly and to be the first person on my screen is going to be the winner of those points. Now, just in case you have some lagging issues, internet connectivity issues, go ahead and you can leave the live and then come back into the live. It'll kind of like reset it just in case there's something that you're um, you're experiencing some lag. Okay, if you have any other questions, go ahead and um, drop it in the comments and either I or veteran <laughs> will answer it for you guys, okay? Um, let me just go up really quick and see if you guys have any questions. Hey, boo, hey, hey, future ER. Um, Mama said, oh yes, I love this because I struggle when people read out loud ink and I can't see the question. Me too. That's why I really want to make sure that I incorporated an actual visual version of NCLEX Jeopardy and Tease Tuesday. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Give me a thumbs up if y'all are ready for the first question. Go ahead and give me those thumbs up. Make sure you have your what is prepared, okay? All right, so let's start now. Okay, so first question. Should I start y'all off with this? Yeah, I'm gonna start y'all off with this. All right, first question. Go ahead and get your like scrap paper ready <laughs> if you need it. But First question is going to be dosage calculations. Okay, this is for 300, not three, but I'm blocking the 100 points. What if I do this? Nope, I don't know. Yeah, it's just for 300. All right, so the intravenous prescription is 1,000 milliliters of 0.9% normal saline or NACL to run over 12 hours. The drop factor is 15 drops per one milliliter. The nurse plans to adjust the flow rate to how many drops per minute? Record your answer to the nearest whole number. Okay? I, I don't want to see no point twos, point fives. <laughs> no. Round, remember your rounding rules and round it up to the nearest whole number and don't forget to say what is. Okay? How many drops per minute? Okay, remember, I'm looking for the um, correct answer, the first person to answer correctly. Now, remember, I'm just going to say this as a little reminder. Because this is NCLEX Jeopardy and we're, and we're um, playing for prizes, it's incentivized. That's why we have kind of like a, a friendly competition kind of going, um, a battle of kind of like the milliseconds, see who can get it first, you know, just to make it fun. Please note. On the actual NCLEX, you, it doesn't matter if you're first, second, third, 94th. It does not matter. As long as you answer correctly and answer within the time frame given. Okay? So don't think like, oh my gosh, just because Judy over here answered a millisecond before me, I'm failing. Nope. Nope. This is a uh, comprehension check. Okay? We're just making it a little fun. Okay? All right. So I'm seeing y'all answers. Du, 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 du. Let's go ahead and see what our answer is. All right, so this is dosage calculations for 300. Let's look for our answer. And it is 21 drops per minute. What is 21 drops per minute? All right, so we get this answer by using, well, calculating the drop factor using the formula below. All right, so the formula is total volume times the drop factor divided by the time in minutes. That's going to give you drops per minute. All right, so in the question, um, they gave us kind of those uh, values. So all we do is plug and play. All right, it let us know that we had um, uh, 1,000 milliliters of normal saline. So norm, uh, the volume for total was 1,000. They let us know that the drop factor was 15. So we have 15 drops per milliliter for our drop factor. And then as far as time in minutes, remember they said that um, it's going to run over... I don't know. Did they say over 12 hours? All right. So what we did, actually, hold on. Hold on. What was this? Dosage calc for 300 
do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, so it's supposed to run over 12 hours. The formula clearly asks for time in minutes. So what we would have to do is convert hours to minutes. You all know there's 60 minutes in every one hour. Okay, so if this was to run over 12 hours and trying to figure out how many minutes, what we would do is multiply 12 hours times uh, 60 minutes. Okay, and that's going to give us 720 minutes. So we can, once again, plug and play. All right, so now we have everything kind of um, placed. We just got to solve. So we have the 1,000 milliliters times the drop factor, which is 15. That's going to give us 15,000 divided by... Remember our minutes that we got from running over 12 hours? All right, so 12 hours is the equivalent of 720 minutes. So 15,000 divided by 720 minutes is going to give you 20.8. But remember, you can't have like half a drop. You, you understand what I'm saying? Remember, this is drop factor. When you're measuring drops, it's either all or nothing. Okay, it's like select all the plot. <laughs> it's all or nothing. So um, you have to round up to the whole, um, to the nearest whole number, nearest whole drop. Okay, can't have a quarter of a drop. You feel me? So twenty point eight. Remember our rounding rules. If it's five or higher, we're gonna round up. If it's four or lower, we're gonna round down. This one's point eight. All right. So eight is more than five. So we know we're gonna round that to the next whole number all right so 20.8 is going to round to 21 and that's going to be our answer 21 drops per minute does that make sense now that you guys see it does that make sense give me a thumbs up if that makes sense let me see who got it um first or who got it correct first and then i'm going to shout out everyone that got it correct okay um do, 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 do. 21 mama misha is the first person Okay, my pen won't work. That's fine. <laughs> Mama Misha is the first person to answer correctly. Congrats, Mama Misha. You are on the scoreboard with 300 points. Awesome. All right. Now, remember, just because you did not answer it first does not mean you are not comprehending or understanding whatever you're studying and reading as far as the NCLEX slash nursing school. All right. That just means that you didn't get these points. <laughs> but the real prize, obviously, is to make sure that you have a good understanding of whatever it is that you're reviewing so that you can walk into the NCLEX and kill it and walk out, period. And be like, I'm just going to wait my 48 hours for my um, email letting me know that she um, unofficially, officially passed. She's a nurse now. That's, that, that's the attitude. That's the mood I want y'all to be in. Okay? So, um, Mama Misha got it first. So who else got it correct, which means you are understanding the content and on your way to your license, love. Uh, Jaqueline, London Lauren, Call Me Nurse T, Imported Mel, Kwesi, mm -mm 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 -mm. Kiana Simone, Robin, Key Canis, um, Mac Michaela. <laughs> because I started out with math oh wait don't do this <laughs> minutes got me it's okay it is okay let's just look and see awesome all right great job to everyone that got that um correct if you didn't get it correct that's okay a lot of people got um tripped up with the whole minutes and hours thing now you know because it's my super short show I don't know if y'all remember that all right next question let's go ahead and get into what was that dosage calc Let's get into mental health. Mental health, all right? It says, a client says to the nurse, I'm gonna die, and I wish my family would stop hoping for a cure. I get so angry when they carry on like this. After all, I'm the one who's dying. Which therapeutic response should the nurse make to the client? One, have you shared your feelings with your family? Two, I think we should talk more about your anger with your family. Three, you're feeling angry that your family continues to hope for you to be cured? Or four, well, it sounds like you're being pretty pessimistic. After all, years ago, people died of pneumonia. Which therapeutic response should the nurse make to the client? 
test taking tip all right i told this last tuesday when i was doing my teas when you are reading any question especially a nursing school question or nclex question read the question read the answer choices and then double back and at least read the last line okay just to make to refresh in your mind what the question is actually asking you okay so this one says it wants us to um, choose which therapeutic response should the nurse make to the client okay uh, let's go ahead and see what our answer is all right we have a client who wants to die well he's not, he doesn't want to die he or she doesn't want to die they're gonna die I guess um, and I guess their family keeps trying to like pray away the cancer or whatever let's look and see what would be the appropriate therapeutic response um, to this client mental health for three 500 yep great the answer is what is three what is three you're feeling angry that your family continues to hope for you to be cured question mark all right so this says reflection is the therapeutic communication technique that redirects the client's feelings back to validate what the client is saying y'all well y'all clearly can't highlight it because it's on our phones but you better star it screenshot it something all right that is major key this is honestly in the sentence how i made it through <laughs> mental health by taking this note right here whenever we have questions and it's asking about therapeutic communication which one you know would you say back which one is you know the most therapeutically appropriate response blah 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 a lot of times the answer was in the form of a question um of you basically repeating that shit back so <laughs> you know so um you know how whenever you call like t-mobile or something like that um and uh, or the bank and you tell them your problem and then they rephrase the problem and they be like so you're calling because we got a hold on your account question mark that's reflecting it back all right they're trying to make sure that they have an understanding of what you're trying to say back it's a it's it's a very like therapy thing <laughs> that's therapy lingo okay um it says in option two the nurse attempts to use focusing but the attempt to discuss central issues is premature. Now, what was number three? What's this? Mental health for five? Uh, mental health. Um, three, no, two was, I think we should talk more about your anger with your family. All right, so that's an example of focusing, but the attempt to discuss central issues is just premature. It's too, too early for that. Um, option four. It says, uh, well, it sounds like you're being pretty pessimistic. After all, years ago, people died of pneumonia. Don't y'all hate when people say things like this? Um, it says the nurse makes a judgment, okay, and is non-therapeutic in the one-on-one -on -one relationship. Like, that helped n nada, ma'am. Like, nobody asked you. I don't give a shit what they died of 100 years ago. Girl, uh, I'm talking about right now. Like, that did not help at all. So, that was A, non-therapeutic. And B, the nurse was making a judgment. It sounds like you're being pretty pessimistic. Like, what well, sounds like you're being a bitch. That's what I would say, personally. Just kidding. Um, so that's number four. That's why number four is wrong. Uh, in option one, the nurse is attempting to assess the client's ability to openly discuss feelings with family members. Although this may be appropriate, the timing is somewhat premature and closes off um, facilitation of the client's feelings. Number one said, have you shared your feelings with your family? And then and another thing is just, it's kind of like off-putting, like, oh, did you discuss that with somebody who cares? That's kind of like what it sounds like. So, <laughs> um, have you shared your feelings with your family isn't necessarily the most therapeutic. It's not saying it's not therapeutic. It's just not the most therapeutic. That's why it says it may be appropriate, but for here now in this situation it's not the most appropriate okay so um let me see who got what is what's the answer three first um bu -bu 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 what is three first person to get that is future er nurse let me wait let me scroll up and make sure yes future er nurse is the first person to get that one hey boo hey future er 
you now have 500 points on the scoreboard. Great job. All right, who else got what is three? Lydia, Yana, Carpe Diem, Jacob Fisher, Mary, Momo, do, 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 Barb, what else? Uh, Izol Kenai, Bensa Kid, hey boo hey. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Yeah, validation my origin. Give another Makes sense. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. How often do you do these lives? Er, Thursday, every Thursday at 7 p.m. All right, so that was, I got that. Let's go ahead and get into our next question. Great job to everybody. Another thing, when you see things like that, um, just like how we went through the question, the, well, the actual correct answer and the, the, the rationale, make sure you understand why the other questions or why the other statements or choices were incorrect. Just in case you get this question, but it's kind of like remixed to where you have to, you know, choose a different answer. Just in case you see the same lingo, but then the answer is actually something different based off of what they ask. Make sure you understand the actual whole content topic and uh, each answer choice and why it was wrong and why it was correct. Um, that was mental health. Let's go to let's go to maternity. Mm -mm -mm. Um, P. Hargrove, I see, yeah, I see your answers. Well, I see that right there. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh. Joanna loves us driving home from nursing school. Awesome. All right, guys, maternity for 200. The nurse is describing the process of fetal circulation to a client during a prenatal visit. The nurse should tell the client that fetal circulation consists of which components? One, two umbilical veins and one umbilical artery. Two, two umbilical arteries and one umbilical vein. Three, I almost went to four. <laughs> Three, arteries that carry oxygenated blood to the fetus. And then four is veins that carry deoxygenated blood to the fetus. Remember what I said, after you read the question and the answer choices, go back and at least read the last line of the question. The nurse should tell the client that fetal circulation consists of which components? Do I have? I don't think I have that printed out, but that's fine. Let's look at, if you have the maternity, my maternity study kit, you know the answer to this question. And it, the maternity study kit, the third semester study kit, or the ultimate nursing school bundle, that means you have the maternity, which means you should know the answer to this question. Because it's definitely on page five. <laughs> All right, let's look and see what our answer is. What's this, maternity for 200? Maternity for 200. And our answer is, drumroll, please. I saw a lot of people say two, so either we all right or we all wrong. And we all right, period. What is two? Two umbilical arteries and one umbilical vein. All right, that is the answer. Let's see who got it correct first. How did you know the answer to this question? Let me see if we... The way I was taught, or the way I came up with in my head, I can't remember which one. Let me see if y'all know as well. How did y'all know, the people that said, what is two, how did you know it was two? Or how do you remember two umbilical arteries and one umbilical vein? How do you remember or differentiate the two? Let me see, and while you're doing that, let's see who got it in, um, got it first. Future ER nurse again. All right, boo, you just got another 200 points added, so now you're at 700. Um, who's next? Kikanis also got it, Imported Mel, Jess, Mama Misha, One Wine Hope, um, Pink Love, J. Sim, Puff Shot Coco, Rayona, A. Renee, Lydia, Unknown Beauty. Hey, boo. Um, Momo XO again. Is it again or somebody different? I'm not sure. Um, XOXO Pamela, Barb, 
Isha Davis. You know, look at everybody. Mm -mm -mm. ABA. Benta Gibbs said she remembers or she was taught or whatever. <laughs> ABA. Artery vein artery. That's cute. ABL. Okay, Jess said, got it too. ABA. Key Canis, ABA. Why does everyone remember ABA or Ava? I feel like. <laughs> Jacob said the way I was taught in art school was I need two double A batteries and voltage. That's cute. That is cute. I love that. Um, I like Ava. I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't taught that. Okay, y'all want to know the really? <laughs> y'all want to know how I remember it or what I was taught? I don't know if I was taught this honestly or if I just rem um um came up with this by myself just because I'm just that type of person. All right, how I remembered it, two arteries, there are two E's in arteries, and then one vein, there's one E in vein. <laughs> I feel like that one's doing the most, <laughs> but my mind, my visual learner mind, that's immediately what I saw when I see it, but I love baby Ava. That is cute. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a note. Hold on. Baby Ava and um, the batteries. Two AA batteries and voltage. That is so cute. And then, like I said, <laughs> two arteries is two E's because there's two E's in arteries and then one E in vein. <laughs> Just that that's hard to remember. I know, but it was easy for me. I love Literally, I love every last one of y'all's. Mine's literally on the bottom. <laughs> like, my mnemonic sucks. <laughs> so, baby Ava and two AA batteries. I, ooh, that's cute. That is cute. <laughs> but I was definitely doing the most with mine. No, ma'am. All right. So, um, oh, question. Since we're on arteries and veins, which one carries... Deoxygenated blood away. Does it say? Fuck, never mind. No, okay, okay. Arteries carry blood. Away? Or I'm I feel like I'm failing this. <laughs> Which one takes blood away? Arteries or veins? Jeez. That's what I meant to say. My bad. Which one, um, which vessel carries blood away? Arteries or veins? Right. <laughs> Unknown beauty. <laughs> Beautiful Avenue, don't laugh at me. I, I like had a stroke or something. I don't know. Arteries equals away. A and A. A and A. Um, um, vein is toward. In the fetus, it's different. <laughs> right, that's what I want to say. Arteries is away. It's away from the fetus, but like in the heart, arteries is like away from the heart. So arteries go away. If I remember arteries equals away, then I'll remember veins. <laughs> it's literally the opposite. All right, so great job, everybody.
Thank you, Unknown. I surely did mute myself when I was pressing the thing. Y'all can hear me now, right? Because I unmuted myself. I literally pressed mute. <laughs> literally pressed mute. Just want to just make sure. Can you hear me now? What about now? Still? Wait, yes. Okay, yay. We're back. We're back. Okay, my bad. <laughs> even though I was not answering, I mean, even though y'all couldn't hear me, I hope y'all still read the question and, and uh, <laughs> answered it. But let's go ahead and start over. All right. <clears throat> Farm for 400. Go to my question. Isotretinoin is prescribed for a client with severe acne. Before the administration of this medication, the nurse anticipates that which laboratory test will be prescribed? One, potassium level. Two, triglyceride level. Three, hemoglobin level. Or four, total cholesterol. Mm -mm 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 Mm, mm, mm. What is our answer? Wait, I think every, literally everybody was like answering it earlier. Okay, so quick thing. Isotretinoin, what medication is that? Isotretinoin is the generic because once again, whether you know or not, now you know, NCLEX will only give you generic names. They will not give you brand. They will not give you brand. Okay, so um, mm, mm, isotretinoin. What kind of um, medication is that? Scroll, 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 scroll. Yeah, pretty much. Accutane. Absolutely. Okay, so with that in mind, let's see what our answer is for this question. So if someone's getting prescribed um, isotretinoin for acne, it's usually severe cystic acne, um, they're going to have their blood drawn to check for what? Let's see what our answer is. What's this, farm? Yes. Farm, 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 farm. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. What is this? Wait, hold on one second. Okay, I found it. There we go. What is two triglyceride level? <laughs> Beauty Mommy said two or four. It's one of these, y'all. <laughs> it is one of these. I appreciate you for slimming it down to 50-50. And you're right. It was two or four. It was two. All right. Uh, what is two triglyceride level? Isotretinoin can elevate triglyceride levels. All right. Blood triglyceride levels should be measured before treatment begins and periodically thereafter until the effect on triglycerides has been evaluated. All right. So... Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> Beauty Mom said, I knew it was lipids, right? Mm hmm. Absolutely. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so if you don't, if you don't know, like, NCLEX for some reason really loves, um, isotretinoin. Man, uh, even like two weeks ago, we had a question. A, same question but kind of different at the same time um well same topic but different question it was about isotretinoin it was about labs and kind of like nursing considerations and it was definitely about triglycerides so this is the second time that i've seen it in like two weeks so put a star next to it um because apparently that is very popular all right let's go to our wait Let's go to, I didn't even see, I didn't even put who got the question. Let's go. Um, who said, what is two first? In the midst of y'all telling me, girl, we cannot hear you. Literally <laughs> scrolling through so many sound went out, no sound. We can't hear you. Bitch, we can't hear you. <laughs> Still can't. Blah, 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 blah. A lot of people chose three or one. Hold on. Unknown Beauty is the first person to say what is two. 
great job unknown beauty great job so because i saw that a lot of people chose one or two um wait let me go back let me go to the actual what's this farm for four one or two people said one was potassium and no i see, see yeah ones or three sorry one was potassium and three was hemoglobin a1c and the answer was two triglycerides so if you said either one or three i just want to make give me a thumbs up that you understand that it's two triglyceride levels and why it's triglyceride levels okay unknown beauty you got 400 points on the scoreboard great job and you are back who else got what is two ooh, 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 ooh. let's see uh immaculate michelle great job d drea bentakib s s Trother. rosie great job beautiful mommy uh chu to d this is very very important Thank you, future ER nurse, for just, can I pin this? I don't know if I can. Yes, I can. Well, I don't want to pin it because the question is going to be gone. But this is very important. Also, with Accutane, vitamin A, isotretinoin, all that stuff, besides testing for um, triglyceride levels, they're also going to test you for pregnancy. Absolutely. It is contraindicated to be pregnant while on uh, isotretinoin or vice versa it's contraindicated to get pregnant while you're on isotretinoin whatever they're contraindicated girl okay so there's uh make sure you wrap it up when you're bumping and grinding and trying to heal your acne at the same time okay i almost made a joke that would have been so inappropriate <laughs> i'm gonna shut up all right who else uh yep great awesome everybody av said this is so fun learning and having fun woohoo Great job. Unknown Beauty, your NCLEX is next week. Oh my God, I'm about to cry. Don't do that. You, Yeah, you actually have to sign a form. I hereby swear not to get knocked up. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go ahead and go to our next question. That was farm for 400. So let's do med search for 300. Is it because they lowered the birth control effectiveness? No, it's because it um, will literally directly like harm the baby. <laughs> like I think it caused, it's like category X or something like that. Like it can cause some shit to be there that shouldn't be there or take away some vital shit. Like one of those types of things. All right, med search for 300. Which diagnostic test would verify the diagnosis of macular degeneration? One, tonometer, ton, 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 tonometer, tonometer, <laughs> sorry. Um, one, tonometer, two, Snellen chart, three, Amsler grid test, or four, Ishihara chart book. What is our answer? I'm seeing like ones and threes. I'm seeing ones and threes. Okay, macular degeneration. Okay, we're trying to verify the diagnosis of macular degeneration. Um, when you think of macular degeneration, what is affected? <laughs> what general body part is affected? All right, when you think of macular degeneration, go ahead and type it to me really quick before we go to the answer. Macular degeneration, what is a, what is being affected? Your eyes, thank you. La Crista, Mama Misha, Unknown Beauty, Legendary, Ash the One. Great job, yes, the eye. So which of these tests are known <laughs> to um, test for an eye disorder or something of the eye, okay? Um, now that you know that macular degeneration is of the eye, if you see any of these tests that test anything but the eye, you know that that's not the answer. Okay, great. Let's go to the actual answer. Do, 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 do. And the answer is, drum roll please, what is three? Amsler grid test. 
That is the answer, Amsler grid test. All right, so in the Amsler grid test, a client with macular degeneration will see distorted or blurred lines. Hashtag Robin Thicke. The tonometer, tonom, tonom, tonometer, ugh, I felt like a... Uh, Find an email just now. <laughs> the tonometer measures intraocular pressure, which will be elevated in glaucoma. Okay. Um, the Snellen chart determines visual uh, acuity and is expressed in a ratio like 20, 20, 20 over 20, 20, 20. Normal vision is 20, 20. And then the Ishihara chart book determines color blindness. Okay. I'm so proud of y'all for getting that correct because that's one of those ones that seems just so kind of like every day because you know that's usually what's done oh well I, oh, let me not say that but like um you should be familiar with that if you've ever like gone to like a physical or something like that um or even went to the um ophthal op ophthalmologist there we go that's the word why can't I say words today <laughs> am I stroking out but yes um Amsler grid test I'm gonna be honest I got this one wrong because I, I do not remember I put Snellen <laughs> don't laugh at me we all learn things every day don't do that all right so first person to get what is three it wasn't me <laughs> it was not me first person to get what is three is Carpe diem, carpe diem, great job, carpe diem. You got 300 points. All right, perfect. Awesome, a job, everybody. Let's see who else got it. Ben Takib, Key Canis, Deidrea, uh, La Crystal One, Barb, Immaculate Michelle, Unknown Beauty, Legendary, mm, Susie. Everyone that said eyes, great job, ocular pressure, all that great stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Legendary, I think I just said you. I am Tasha, Dierlina, and Ash the One. Great job to everybody. If you did not get the answer correct, now you see what the actual correct test is, but make sure you note <laughs> the purpose of the other tests. Sam, I'm talking to me. I had to read Stellan chart and be like, oh, that's visual acuity, girl. Okay, um, so make sure you note the names and um, what they, uh, names of the other um, eye tests and what they measure, okay? Just in case you get a different question, it's ask you which one uh, reads your intraocular pressure. Make sure, and that way you'll know which one actually uh, measures the intraocular pressure. It's the tonometer, okay? All right, so... That's going to be the end of tonight's super fun game. If y'all want me to continue, I'll put a couple questions in the uh, in my stories. Let me know if y'all want me to put some story uh, questions in my stories. So you guys can kind of just uh, play a little cute, little fun, little quiz. If you guys want to play the full 25 questions, the rest of those questions, go to your app store, whether it's iOS your, uh, or the other one, Android. Sorry, Android users, my bad. <laughs> um, but Apple or Android, you go to your app store, type in the Nurse Sam, or go to my um, the link in my bio and just click on download my free app. <laughs> and that way you can be sent to the free app. It is the Nurse Sam. That's the name of the app. Real simple. Okay. Um, when you open the app, you're going to go to NCLEX Prep, just like with this picture right here. You're going to go to NCLEX Prep. And then the fir very first thing you're going to see is NCLEX Jeopardy Mobile. You're going to click that and then you're going to see the full, just like kind of how we were playing it, the full blue screen, five category, and the full five questions per um, category. We just kind of did like a sneak peek. But if you guys want to play the full 25 questions, and I'm about to change it, because the ones that you see are still the ones from last week. I'm about to change it right now. Um, so you guys will be able to see. Number two. I want you guys to be able to see. So in just a second, 
when you download the app, you'll be able to see the questions from um, tonight. Let me look and see what y'all are saying. All right, so everyone's saying yes, put them in my stories, no problem. I'll put a few in my stories and then also link the download link for the app, just in case y'all wanna play it. It's free to play, it's free to download. It's 25 and click style review questions, good for RN students, LPN students, people that's about to, uh, students that are about to start their first semester, students that are about to start their last, okay? The best time for you to start preparing for the NCLEX is like day one <laughs> of nursing school, okay? Just go ahead and just go ahead and get your feet wet, get your little toes wet into the NCLEX pool, okay? And we do these every Thursday, all right? A free and super fun review. I hope you guys really, really learned a lot and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about um, tonight's Jeopardy, especially if it's your first time. How was it? Did you enjoy it? Was it fun? Did you learn a lot? Key Kane said, yes, this is always fun. I'm learning a lot. Awesome. Do, 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 do. Lydia's about to start my last term. This is a great review. Um, you guys know that if you download, not download, but if you purchase the Ultimate Nursing School bundle, um, you get a free hour of um, these recorded um included with that purchase as well so and if you want to see other replays make sure you um follow and um subscribe to my youtube channel my free youtube channel um you can go to the nursamtv.com and it'll take you straight to my youtube um you can see some NCLEX Jeopardy um replays there they're usually about like an hour hour and a half sometimes um, but that's where, we, that's where we would be putting our replays of NCLEX Jeopardy back on um, YouTube. So make sure you go head over there and subscribe. So glad you guys love this. Awesome, awesome. Um, and I'm about to update this to be the questions. And you guys will be able to see the questions in just a few minutes. Thank y'all so much for joining me on this wonderful Thursday night. Make sure you download that free app so you can play the rest of the questions. And I will see y'all next week, same time, same place, for a whole different set of um, questions and NCLEX Jeopardy prep, okay? Oh, oh, wait, I forgot to even say who won. Well, it was Future ER Nurse. Future ER Nurse, do you want to donate it down? Well, donate it down. Who got it? Yeah, do you want to donate it down to the next? Um, <laughs> I almost forgot who the winner was. Do you want to donate it down to the next winner, um, future ER nurse? If so, then the next winner would be Mama Misha, actually. Mama Misha, you actually are the next person in line after Unknown Beauty, but she has everything as well. <laughs> they typically come, and um, just to, for the review, those are my two seasoned vets, Her, uh, uh, both of them and Lauren. All right, so they typically donate it down to whoever's the runner up, and that would definitely be Mama Misha. I have your bundle. Do you have NCLEX Arcade, Mama Misha? Do you have NCLEX Arcade? If you don't have NCLEX Arcade, you will win NCLEX Arcade. <laughs> Let me know if you have NCLEX Arcade. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect. You don't have NCLEX Arcade. You just won NCLEX Arcade. Great job. All right. So that's going to be a 372 page workbook of over 200 NCLEX style questions. Um, just kind of how we did NCLEX Jeopardy. I did NCLEX Arcade kind of after our fun arcade games. Um, we uh, so and it's also accompanied with six videos we did it over six days so each video um is three hours so it's a total of like 18 hour video review in addition to the 372 page workbook that's themed as well after the um arcade games um so send me inbox me your full name and your email so i can go ahead and send that to you um right away all right Awesome, awesome. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Congrats again, um, Mama Misha, for winning. Thank you to everyone for joining me, and I will see y'all next week, Thursday, for our next episode. All right, thank y'all.